Peace to you all, viewers, listeners. American Warrior Radio Show. This is Garen Cohn here, coming to you on the Banana River, Patrick Space Force Base, behind me. 920th Rescue Wing just brought in 55 active duty troops from a five month deployment. You know, we're all about supporting the troops. And I want to talk specifically today, and I'm not sure how we're going to label this to get the most views. And we're not after views for some popularity contest. We want you to watch this and share it with people that it may impact. Folks that are on active duty need to be advised, whether you're one year in, or 16 years in, or 19 and three quarter years in, and you're looking to separate, while you're on active duty, you need to make sure that if something happens to you that's gonna exist for basically the rest of your life, whether it's a systemic diagnosis, maybe you get hypertension, maybe you get diabetes, whatever that might be, or you break a leg or an arm, and the line of duty determination is all good, that you weren't at fault, make sure it gets noted in your service medical record. Now it's called an STR, service treatment record. Regardless, if it's something that happens to you where a doctor writes out a script for you and it's gonna continue potentially for the rest of your life, get it noted in your medical record. Because when you go to separate, again, whether you're leaving after your first tour of four years or your longevity retiree of 20 plus, you're gonna to wanna to file a claim through the Veterans Administration for what's ostensibly a worker's comp situation, all right? It's a program, VA Disability Compensation. If you have a disability that began in service, is bothering you today, and there's that causal connection, that link between the two, then you've got a well-grounded claim for disability compensation. Zero percent, even zero percent, meaning that, let's say you broke a leg and it healed, but guess what? There's still x-ray evidence and there will be for the rest of your life. That 0% entitles you to several benefits. VA healthcare, preference points when you test for civil service exams, a number of different things, even at 0%. You may not be getting any money, but God forbid something were to happen to that broken leg as I use an example, you can come back and ask for an increase. Now, if you get a compensable disability, let's say hypertension, and you're on medication, you're going to get a dime. You're going to get 10%. That's a hundred and some bucks a month, tax-free, for the rest of your life. So the lesson here is, if you're on active duty, like these guys and gals behind me, get things noted in your medical record. And think nothing of, don't worry about somebody saying you're a malingerer because you want to go to sick call. No, this is your life and your body. And you got to live with that for the rest of your life. Make sure it gets noted. When you get ready to separate service, find a qualified claims agent, attorney, or veteran service representative that can file your claim for you and do a medical records review, a comprehensive review to make sure that you get every potential disability claimed on your application. So the fact that I've said this is great, share it got to share it with people you know that are either in service or have just separated or maybe they've been out 30 years. It doesn't matter. If it has that three-prong process happened in service, bothering you today, and there's a causal connection, a nexus between them, then you've got a well-grounded claim for disability compensation. You've got to take advantage of it, all right? Again, beautiful backdrop here on the Banana River with my lovely producer and wife, Kim. Thank you, Kim, for videoing this. We just welcomed 55 troops from the 920th Rescue Wing coming back from deployment. Just love our country, love our military, and God bless you all. Don't forget, thank you, Vet.